In Gabon, tensions are high between logging companies and villagers who are becoming dispossessed of their ancestral forests. Timber companies are accused of not always respecting the compensation promised to local people who have now resorted to makeshift roadblocks. These villages in northern Gabon are blocking the roads to their village with timber in a desperate attempt to stop an Asian logging company in its tracks. The company has yet to provide any compensation for cutting down trees, and now the locals are angry. When a company goes to a village, there are requirements. And in these requirements, we have asked for the construction of a school and a health center. But so far, the company has not responded. Since 2014, companies have had to agree to finance projects for local villages in areas where they're logging. The law is a form of compensation for villagers who would otherwise farm and hunt in these forests. Logging companies now need to respect what they have been told. When someone has been granted a logging permit, then the logging companies should get along with the locals. They may exploit the forest, but locals must benefit from this exploitation. The companies say their delays are due to slow administration and a lack of resources rather than a lack of goodwill. We are still in the process of setting up. We have not yet reached the speed necessary to be able to both produce and to compensate the population. More than 150 logging companies are working in Gabon, and with the sector representing 4% of the GDP, the government is increasingly investing in the timber sector. But rampant corruption and a lack of economic benefits may worsen the relationship between villagers and businesses for years to come. That report was compiled by Agence France Press.